on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So today I have the uh, Red Cat Clawback 1 5th scale and doing a conversion to this thing. Now I've already started this process of converting it and doing all other changes to it. So let me go ahead and just show you parts I'm going to be using or parts that I did use to make this all kind of happen uh, without you got to still do modifications to it. So as far as when it comes to the wheel hex and nut set, that's what I got here which if uh, I gotta make sure everything verified, this is it right here as far as just this little piece here, this little blue piece, not looking at the silver piece because this is the color it used to be on the stock axle. So um, also front and rear uh, chassis plate. So I, there's two of these in here. And the reason why is because I lifted this truck up. Now it is painted a different color. So it does, it comes in this um, red color, but I've made mine where it's, it's black. So, um, if you notice like this chassis plates is kind of going in a different direction um, so here's the original one and what I had to do was to uh, I had to put longer screws on it um, drill this hole out a little bit so I could put the shock in there and you can notice like as far as the shock goes uh, it's on an angle too is because the actual linkages can't move let's say forward or back far enough uh, just because the restrictions of the chassis itself which needs to be modified as well to make everything kind of a little bit more straight but anyway uh, the tires that I use too so these are off of the Red Cat Rampage XT if I'm not mistaken anyway it's like an orange it's got like a, a flame job that's on it anyhow but I'll put links in the description below as far as the parts I use again you're gonna have to modify this stuff so I actually had my uncle because I didn't have the tools to properly do this so it's not something just to undertake on your own uh, you can but um, I don't have like all the step-by-steps of it unfortunately but what we did was we took basically this this, consider this you know, this is a stock piece here filed the threads down and then from what we got from that circumference when it comes to this piece here then we just basically just drilled out this blue piece here this is enough material that's on it so then once we did that we were able to mesh these two together and then go ahead and put a pin in there so a nice steel pin so it's not wobbling or, or anything so it's nice and secure in there basically kind of same kind of pin this pin's probably even stronger than the pin that's going into this steel uh, axle that's there. I did print out some uh, one fifth scale gas cans. So this is a one tenth scale here. So then we got our one fifth scale can. And I put some Red Cat stickers on there. They came from a different vehicle. Anyhow, I think from the Kaiju, to be honest with you. So I just printed those up. Probably do a little bit more detail with it, you know, down the road. But you know, I'll probably stick them like on the back bumper here. Something to that effect, right? So you guys can leave a comment down below in regards to that one. But I want to give you guys an update. I'm going to go ahead and run this thing. I'm going to go ahead and put Basically, it's, uh, I did. Some of you guys might be like, "Well, where'd you get this? You know, stand." I haven't painted it, obviously, but uh, it's the same kind of thing as this one for a one tenth scale. So, and so this is a one tenth scale little uh, jack stand, and then we got our one fifth scale. Uh, same print, just doubled in size. So, um, yeah, it actually, it's pretty darn strong too, and it came out really well. Anyway, let's get this thing all put together so you can guys can see it all in its glory.